It's your weekly blitz with Chris, keeping you in the game. Good morning, everyone. Coach Chris Cotton here from AutoFix Auto Shop Coaching, where I work hard to support your auto repair shop success. As you get into today's episode, you may know someone in your network who can benefit from today's topic. Please take time to share personally or through your social network. If you have an idea for a show topic or just want to talk, feel free to get with me, Chris at AutofixSOS.com. So let's get started with episode 87, my gift to you on my 50th birthday. Hey, everybody. My birthday is November 20th. It's my 50th birthday. So happy birthday to me. You know, I feel like I'm in the prime of my life. If I doubled my years to 100, that would be awesome. But, you know, honestly, if I sit and think about it and reflect, I don't think I have that many years left. I do know that there are a lot of great people who didn't do really, really great things or didn't achieve success until after they turned 50. So I think the next 25, 30, however many years I get is going to be super awesome. And I can't wait to see how those go and where it went up. I was originally going to combine this with another episode, but when I was thinking about this episode, I wanted it to be about me as little as possible. And I was struggling with what to say and what to do and how to inspire everybody listening. And as I was struggling, I decided to set it aside and started working on notes for my next leadership podcast. And in that lesson that I was preparing to be the next one is the perfect story. And I would like this to be my gift to you. And so I want to share that with you right now. This is a parable written by a man named Jeffrey Davis. And and here's what it says. It says, the older I get, the more I enjoy Saturday mornings. Perhaps it's the quiet solitude that comes with being the first to rise, or maybe it's the unbounded joy of not having to be at work. Either way, the first few hours of a Saturday morning are most enjoyable. A few weeks ago, I was shuffling toward the basement with a steaming cup of coffee in one hand and the morning paper in the other. What began as a typical Saturday morning turned into one of those lessons that life seems to hand you from time to time. So let me tell you about it. I turned the dial up into the phone portion of the band on my ham radio in order to listen to a Saturday morning swap net. Along the way, I came across an older sounding chap with a tremendous signal and a golden voice. You know the kind of guy. He sounded like he should be in the broadcasting business. He was telling whoever he was talking with something about a thousand marbles. I was intrigued and stopped to listen to what he had to say. Well, Tom, it sure sounds like you're busy with your job. I'm sure they pay you well, but it's a shame you have to be away from home and your family so much. Hard to believe a young fellow should have to work 60 or 70 hours a week to make ends meet. Too bad you missed your daughter's dance recital. So he continued, let me tell you something, Tom, something that has helped me keep a good perspective on my own priorities And that's when he began to explain his theory of a thousand marbles. You see, I sat down one day and I did and did a little arithmetic. The average person lives about 75 years. I know some live more and some live less, but on average, folks live about 75 years. Now then, I multiplied 75 times 52 and I came up with 3,900, which is the number of Saturdays that the average person has in their entire lifetime. Now stick with me, Tom, I'm getting to the important part. It took me until I was 55 years old to think about all this in my, in any detail, he went on. And by that time, I'd lived through over 2,800 Saturdays. I got to thinking that if I lived to be 75, I only had about a 1,000 of them left to enjoy. So I went to a toy store and bought every single marble they had. I ended up having to visit three toy stores to round up a 1,000 marbles. I took them home and put them inside of a large clear plastic container right here next to my gear. Every Saturday since then, I've taken one marble out and thrown it away. I found that by watching the marbles diminish, I focus more on the really important things in life. There's nothing like watching your time here on this earth run out to help get your priorities straight. Now, let me tell you one last thing before I sign off with you and take my lovely wife out for breakfast. This morning, I took the very last marble out of the container. I figure if I make it until next Saturday, then I've been given a little extra time. And the one thing we can all use is a little more time. Sure nice to meet you, Tom. I hope you spend more time with your family, and I hope to meet you again here on the band. You could have heard a pin drop on the band when this fellow signed off. I guess he gave us all a lot to think about. I'd planned to work on the antenna that morning, and then I was going to meet up with a few hams to work on the next club newsletter. Instead, I went upstairs and woke my wife up with a kiss. Come on, honey, I'm taking you and the kids to breakfast. What brought this on? She asked with a smile. Oh, nothing special. It's just been a long time since we spent a Saturday together with the kids. Hey, can we stop at a toy store while we're out? I need to buy some marbles. As I read this, and now you know, here I am, 
I'm 50 years old. So if I live to be 75, I've got about 1300 marbles left. Awareness of this fact gives me even more motivation to manage my life and, and make the most out of the time I have left. I also want to share with you the words of writer and naturalist John Burroughs, who says, I still find each day too short for all the thoughts I want to think, for all the walks I want to take, for all the books I want to read, and for all the friends I want to see. To conclude or here at the end, you know, when you have a strong sense of purpose, enjoy life and possess an awareness of how brief life really is, the days always seem too short. And that's why you have to manage yourself effectively. Everything you do in your career, in your personal life, and in your leadership depends on it. That's a lesson I hope you learn earlier rather than later. Hopefully you people less than 50 can get started now and you people older than 50 can get caught up. If I give you nothing else today or ever, then that's my gift to you on my birthday. AutoLeap is a cloud-based all-in-one auto repair software that helps to keep complete track of your business from scheduling appointments to managing technicians to generating invoices. Supercharge your growth with AutoLeap. Customers that fully adopt AutoLeap see the following benefits in their first year. 30% revenue growth, with top customers seeing over 100% growth, 75% decrease in no-shows, allowing you to service more customers, three times increase in positive Google reviews, leading to stronger online presence, 50% time saved on administrative tasks, driving increase in operational efficiency. Do it all with AutoLeap. Key features and functions include estimates, invoices, scheduling, Google reviews, inspections, communication, QuickBooks, reporting. Get in touch with AutoLeap to see how you can transform your auto repair shop. For a limited time, if you schedule a demo, sign up with AutoLeap and they will waive the $250 implementation fee. Have a great day, everybody. This has been Coach Chris Cotton from Autofix Auto Shop Coaching, reminding you that it never always gets worse, but sometimes it has to get worse to get better. Please feel free to reach out to me, chris at autofixsos.com, or give me a call, 940-400-1008. Time to rise and grind, everybody. Have a great day. You've been listening to The Weekly Blitz with Coach Chris Cotton on the aftermarketradionetwork.com. Follow Chris on your favorite podcast listening app. Let him know what you'd like him to cover. His email is in the show notes. Chris is all for advancing the aftermarket.